tell us about this short. Tell us about Go Sebastian Go. Well, yeah, it actually all came up because I was a huge fan of the 30 for 30s uh, that ESPN does. And they approached me to see if I wanted to do, uh, to direct one. And I said, I'd love to. I'd love to do a series um, where the sport uh, bumps up against something off the field or off the court, uh, such as racism, sexism, discrimination. Um, and I felt like we always see these documentaries about an athlete overcoming an injury or, an athlete or, or a team, the underdog team beating the big opponent. But what if that obstacle was a moral obstacle? And so that's what the series is called, Versus. And the first film of the series is Sebastian Dela Cruz. That's uh, once ESPN greenlit the whole thing. I said the first one I want to do is Sebastian Dela Cruz, um, because I remember it being a Spurs fan and then being a Mexican American. It kind of touched uh, touched home. Uh, and I, I remember when it happened. Uh, it was sport centric, uh, and the way the Spurs and Pop and uh, the San Antonio community kind of rallied around this kid who was the target of amazing vitriol. Why was he the target? Can you give us a little bit um, about that? Well, because well, he sang the national anthem in a mariachi outfit, uh, and he, Twitter immediately blew up that uh, why is that Mexican singing our national anthem and uh, hashtag go home and he kind of he he didn't understand what was happening, um, and uh, it was it's amazing because if you live in San Antonio, you know the the diverse uh, makeup of our audience, of our fan base, of um, of uh, the city. And so uh, it was amazing to see how the Spurs rallied around him and said to the rest of America, you know, no, 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 no. And then they brought him back uh, for game four. Right. And so that was game three of the 2013 NBA Finals. We actually were there. We were traveling during that time. Yeah. I'm going to uh, ask Stephen A. Stephen A, question for Eva? Yes, because what I'm wondering about Eva is that, you know, it's, you know I understand the thought process behind uh, the particular uh, piece on Sebastian, but overall, mm. you being in Hollywood, accomplishing the great things that you've accomplished in your career, what inspired you to, to have this kind of vision where you wanted to do these kind of stories? Well, uh, yeah. you know, I think it's important to show uh, other sides of sports. Like I said, it's not about the, the wins and losses uh, on, on the field or on the court. It's about uh, the wins in life and the wins that actually change the path for others. You know, the, 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 there's so many things happening in sports today, whether it's Michael Sam, whether it's Serena Williams and Indian Wells, whether it's this Sebastian De La Cruz, uh, there's so many uh, uh, stories to be told that people can learn lessons from. That it's not, oh, I, if I work hard, you know, every not every not everybody can go on the uh, on the court. I can't go play NBA basketball, but I can play in the game of life. And those are the stories we're telling. So give us some insight into the Spurs on the court. Mm. What's your gut feeling right now on whether Tim Duncan or Manu will retire? Oh or do you gosh. want to see them try it again <laughs> for another year? Oh, my, I, I hope they stay around forever. I wish, I wish they uh, would stay the, the big three. I call them the big four because Pop is part of that. Right. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I am not ready to even contemplate mm. the Spurs without Tim Duncan. So, so do you, you think he'll come yeah. back? I, I don't know. Let me tell you, I'm not the one to <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have no right. information. I have no inf inside yeah. information. Okay, <laughs> one, one, okay, go this way for yeah. us, because yeah. you, you know this team. Mm. Who has been more important to this dynasty, Tim Duncan or Coach Popovich? Oh, gosh. Uh, gut feeling, just gut feeling. Pop. Pop more than oh. Duncan, because? Pop, Pop assembles uh, an amazing uh, a team, an amazing roster. Uh, you know, he's a big team player. He believes in the team. He believes in the bench. I mean, I think mm -hmm. that uh, to say one player makes a difference is naive. Um, and I don't think that's the way uh, the Spurs have ever operated. All right. So do you want to talk more about your Spurs or shall we talk about your Cowboys? You and Skip <laughs> have a lot in common. We do. Did you guys plan that? <laughs> He loves the Cowboys. Oh. He loves the Spurs. Oh, good. Okay, so what's your what would you have to say? Your prediction for this? You guys had some great offseason trades and obviously acquired some great people in the draft. I saw something somebody today uh, acquired. Oh yeah, Lyle, Lyle Collins. Collins. Yeah, yeah we Collins. were just talking about him. Yes. So what do you think? Super Bowl this year for you guys? I hope. Yes, actually, yes. I think yes. positive thinking will <laughs> move this the universe into our direction. Um, it was heartbreaking last year. It was actually heartbreaking, and it was even more heartbreaking that. So was it a catch? Uh, no. For Des no. Bryant, no. it wasn't what did a catch. You think? Oh, I definitely thought he caught. You thought it was a catch? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I actually no. I'm sorry. I think he did you, catch. You think, you think he, he did catch? catch. Yes. Okay. 
So yeah. that's I, I was saying still. no to the call. Oh, oh yeah, no to the sorry. call. Yeah, <laughs> no, totally, I get it. Yes, we're on the same page. Yes. Stephen A is making Stephen, his face. He's what? not happy because he's usually, he's not a Cowboys fan. He's a Giants fan. Oh, God. Well, that's not the reason I'm not happy today, why? Eva. I'm not happy because I'm not there. <laughs> It's just so we're clear. That's why I'm not happy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not happy that I'm not in Bristol today. Oh, my God. It, yeah. Are no, you I'm, happy that he's not in Bristol today? <laughs> yeah, because we didn't need his input on the Cowboys or the Spurs in this conversation. <laughs> That's your story and you're sticking yeah. to it. All right, so Eva Longoria, director of Go Sebastian Go. Yeah. It premieres tonight on SportsCenter. Yes. Very impressed. Are you working on any other projects? Can we yes. see you in front of the camera? Yes, I'm coming back to TV this fall in a new TV show, comedy oh. on NBC. Um, right now it's called Telenovela. We, we're changing the name. Uh, uh, we, we don't know the name yet, uh, but it is going to be a lot of fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we also have uh, the other films in this particular sure. series. Uh, we have a film about Violet Palmer. Queen V, as we call her. Yep. Yes. Uh, amazing story. Yep. Her story is just amazing. Yep. Uh, and you realize how hard it is to be an NBA ref. I yeah. mean, it's, uh, and then to be a woman, imagine. and then to be a black woman. I mean, it's. It, Hi, it, welcome to yeah. the world. <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yes, and then we have uh, Surya Benelli, the first, um, uh, the French Olympic uh, ski, uh, ice skater who did the backflip on ice and got sure. disqualified. And uh, people call her, today, if you look back, they call her Serena Williams on ice because she was athletic and built. And she felt like because she was black and, and not the ice princess, uh, the ice skating community kind of shunned her at that time. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a Jim Plunkett, Tom Flores story okay. as well.